TR Flex accessories are supplied in a sealed package and consist of locking segments, rubber retainers, and instructions. 24 to 36 inch TR Flex joints require one right locking segment painted red and one left hand locking segment painted black inserted into each of the four slots. Each joint will have four right and four left locking segments for a total of eight locking segments and four rubber retainers. Start by inspecting and removing dirt, excess asphalt coating, or other material in the heel retaining groove and gasket seat that can prevent the gasket from being properly installed. The square protrusion on the gasket is the heel which fits into the heel retainer groove. The heel portion holds the gasket in place as the spigot is inserted. The round O-ring section of the gasket is the bulb and does the sealing. Loop and work the gasket into the heel retainer groove and space the loops around the joint evenly. Pull out the loop about three to four inches high to adjust the gasket. Once the loops are pulled and evenly spaced, push the looped gasket into the bell. A rule of thumb to use for the number of loops is, the first digit of the pipe size is the number of loops needed. When installing Titan joint pipe in sub-freezing weather, the gaskets, prior to their use, must be kept at a temperature of at least 40 degrees Fahrenheit by suitable means, such as storing in a heated area. After the gasket is installed, check to ensure the gasket is flush and does not set above the throat and apply a thin film of Titan joint lubricant. In hot, dry weather conditions, the lubricant can dry out. Especially when applied to hot pipe, it will be necessary to add a small amount of water to hydrate the lubricant. Caution: The use of spray-on lubricant is not recommended. Experience has determined that spray-on lubricant may not be sufficient to allow joint assembly without gasket displacement. Clean the spigot end of the pipe back to the assembly stripes and four to five inches behind the weld bead where the locking segments slide into place. Make a conventional push-on joint assembly, fully homing the pipe until the first assembly stripe is in the bell socket. Keep the joint in straight alignment during assembly and lay the pipe or fitting in such that the slots are positioned at 3 and 9 o'clock and are accessible. Insert the black left-hand locking segment into a bell slot and slide the segment counterclockwise around the pipe and insert the red right-hand locking segment into the same bell slot and slide the segment clockwise around the pipe. Then hold the segments apart and wedge the rubber retainer into the slot between the two locking segments. Fold and insert the rubber retainer in a U-shape as shown for normal buried applications. Continue to insert the right and left locking segments and rubber retainers into each of the four slots. For applications involving HDD, pipe bursting, bridge crossings, pipe-in casings, and above-ground use, trim the rubber retainer one quarter inch longer than the gap between the locking segments when they are inserted into the segment cavity. Drive the rubber retainer to the back of the cavity. The rubber is in compression and secure. Extend the joint to remove the slack in the locking segment cavity. Joint extension is necessary to obtain the marked laying length on the pipe and to minimize growth or extension of the line as it is pressurized. Set the joint deflection as required, but do not exceed the maximum deflection of the joint.